Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> oh. It's getting hot. The zone, ladies and gentlemen. The zone. Oh, it's the media zone. Gotcha. <laughs> Wow, that was one nice teacher, Ed. It is, yes. Ooh. I believe, to add insult to injury, that was Lex Luthor's girlfriend, who happened to be the substitute teacher in this episode, tying mm. everything together. Wow. Hmm. Let's see. we got time for a game, I think. I think we do. Do you have the tagline game in, or more? Um, we got the tagline game. What happened? Woo! <laughs> He's putting it. There we go. The big movie poster. Tagline These are the quiz. taglines for movie posters and phrases they use in their ad campaigns. All right, so people have to write in, or are we just guessing? Oh, we're playing right here. Oh, we're playing oh. now. The monster demands a mate. There's no choices. You've got to come up with it on uh, your own. Bride of Frankenstein. I don't know. Did you ever guess that? I have no clue. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You know why? Because I was four years old when that movie was made. <laughs> Right. 1935 or 9? 35, Five. I think. 39 mm -hmm. may have been Son of Frankenstein. These span from 35 up till today. I cha Chaz uh, Bono <laughs> uh, documentary. I, I think no only idea. Dave is familiar with this film. I changed my sex. What was the film you always mentioned in a long time? <laughs> Glenn or Glenda. Great film from Ed Wood. Mm hmm. Who also did Plan 9 from Outer Space. It is required that you see blank in the very beginning. The blank is the name of the film. Psycho. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Two for three. Should have got Glenn or Glenda. There are a few uh, later ones, Leela. <laughs> Oh, no. thanks, Rick. I noticed that. She, she considers a classic <laughs> anything from the 90s. Right. We consider a classic the 30s and 40s. Yeah. Speaking of the 90s, I found when I got to the 90s and the 2000s, the, the taglines were getting very weak. Were they? Yeah. All right. You don't assign him to murder cases. You just turn him loose. I don't know, Ed. Dirty Harry. I don't know. It's always good to guess, Dave. Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. Wow. 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 Pardon me. No, I, I, I don't want to Lelag to feel like she was left out. I did spend a few minutes looking up Samurai Chukwu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but there was Thanks. no there was no tagline for that. It's okay. I believe there was. I give you this time. <laughs> Not a big deal. I believe there was, but I won't say it. <laughs> the snobs against the slobs. Um Revenge of the Nerds. Caddyshack. I never saw that film. Oh, Dave. That's a sacrilege. Is it? It is. Okay. I want you to spend this weekend <laughs> looking up <laughs> Caddyshack. If this movie doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight. Oh, that's a bizarre, Ed. That's a bizarre uh, tagline. I remember this before I looked it up. It's very obscure, though. Although they did a remake a few years ago. Oh, so it's not the Tingler. It's the Christmas-related... Uh, Black uh, Christmas? Yeah. Silent Night? Had two names. What is it? Silent, Silent Night, Night? Evil Night? Evil Night. They changed the title. What was it? Silent Night, Deadly Night? Or something no. else? Or just Black Christmas? Ah, that would be the AKA. Yes. Mainly known as... Which is the beginning of a Popeye impression, isn't it? <laughs> Aka! 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 I have no clue Sorry. about any of these. <laughs> any more? There's five seconds in between. There you go. Oh, you know this, Lelac. For anyone who has wished upon a star. Really? Pinocchio? Yeah, I'll throw out hints. I'll throw out a couple of hints. Um, well, that was a bad face, wasn't it? Pinocchio. Oh. Seen it a million times, Ed. I wonder why. Are you adding effects in over there? Yeah. yeah. yeah a ding good. for a correct answer and... <laughs> <laughs> no one oh. does it to you like Roman Polanski. Now this is funny. It's not that the film is that popular. It's just the uh, phrase on this poster. Um, I spit on your grave. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you know, know anything know about Roman Polanski? No. Okay. The Tenant? The Tenant was the name of the film, and that was just an odd tagline seeing the mess he got in a few years later. So this was from earlier? This was what? 80s? About 76 or so. 
One more will do. We are not alone. This is a Steven Spielberg I was, film. I was going to say E.T., but I'm not sure if it's Close Encounters, maybe. I'll go with Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Boom. Oh, and some mashed <laughs> potatoes. All right. There you go. All right, we want to get Lelac over to the poster pairs game and give everyone a chance to win some free movie tickets right now. <laughs> Hello, there it is, the poster pairs board. She's yeah. doing, what's she doing, the robot there or something? She's doing the robot. <laughs> that's, that's the best I can do. Next, nah. week, next week, she'll be breakdancing it. Oh, cool. could you imagine? Breaking. Scary. Breaking two electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, one of the best titles of all time. Reach in way down there and get a good one. Okay. Any color. There. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? We got is Michelle. Chrisafoli. Chrisafoli with mm. a one and a four. Yup. All right, let's check it out. All they have to do is match, Ed. Match. match it. It's not like there's 20 numbers to pick from, Ed. There's only six. No, I think we're going to get it this time, Do you? Dave. Yep, this is it. I'm getting my popper ready. Mm. Oh. oh, for the love of God. Oh. Put your popper back in. <laughs> my, <laughs> my Mr. Popper is back. Oh, there it is. Oh. I forgot so I was going to print out some more posters this week, but... Forgot. No matches again, Ed. The budget remains intact. Mm. Look at that. Well, Lelac will give you the uh, email address in a second. And oh. Go. Oh. That's it. Match game. Oh, here's the match game, Ed. Remember okay. the match game that you played? Yes, last week. This is what people have to match. They write in to match Harry Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Don't match our gym teacher, Harry. though. I'm not picking that one. <laughs> Harry. Apparently it was a different spelling, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was. But there you go. Match that. Now, you can enter our other game that we just played by sending in two numbers. Just pick two numbers between one and six and email it to mediazone95 at gmail.com. Yup. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes to mediazone95 at gmail.com. Yes. Send your inquiries there. Ask us questions. Do you need advice? Financial advice? <laughs> Dating advice? Any type of advice. You need to buy a new car? Maybe we can help you out. Just let us know we that did... you're actually watching our show somehow. Yeah, we did. Did you read that long email we got from our viewer in Las Vegas? Dave? Mr. Oliver? Yeah. I did read that email. Interesting. Yeah. Very fascinating. Send us more stories. Yeah. About what goes on in Sin City. Because right. what stays in Vegas or whatever happens in Vegas, mm -hmm. you can tell us. And what happens in Vegas apparently gets repeated in Bangkok in uh, oh, the sequel. That's right. Right, Leela? Bangkok. Same movie, right? Yep. Yup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to wear that out. That's Lelac's catchphrase. That'll be on our next shirt. Yep. The next shirt? Maybe you should say it on the back. I want to do a shirt with Lelac on the shirt. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think what we would do, though. What we want to do is get this show over with before the buzzer goes off. It's right. happening. We'll see, you. we'll see you next time, everybody. <laughs>